Crypto Comics, and I'm back. This time, I went hunting today at a local antique mall. If you want to see what books I picked up, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Hopefully, you guys are having a good time leading up into the holiday season. Christmas is about less than a week away. Um, still picking up some good holiday books, so I figured I had some time. Let me go check out one of the local antique malls that I usually go to when I have a slow afternoon. I uh, took my son with me, and I shot some footage. Um, so uh, let's go check that out. This way, bud. Come on. Hmm. 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 Let's do it. Crap. Here we go. He's here. Let's go this way, Daddy. Let's look over here, bud. There's nothing over So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, it's a really cool spot. It's in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. It's like called the Antique Small, I guess, is what it's called. Um, I'll, I'll drop some information down below so you guys can uh, check it out if you guys are in the area. 
Um, I've been there many times before, and I always find books when I go there, whether it's back issues, key books, um, cool covers, whatever it may be. It does, it's just a lot of great antiques there uh, for all different types of collectors. Um, so I was still gunning for some holiday covers because I'm doing my, you know, daily um, holiday cover, you know, display, show, whatever on, uh, on my channel. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying that and watching it. Um, so I'll show you what I picked up. I ended up picking up some, one, two, uh, six books. Six books. Um, spent, I don't know, maybe over 60 bucks total. I did end up buying some uh, Golden Age bags and boards, and I didn't realize how expensive they were. <laughs> the bags and boards alone cost me uh, just shy of 40 bucks. So uh, I spent uh, maybe just a little over 20 bucks total in comics. So uh, I'll show you what I got. And uh, before I show you the books, I didn't show the whole antique mall. Um, it is two floors, so the, the video I showed you is primarily just one floor. I didn't get a chance to just show you the, the basement floor because um, my son was starting to get a little antsy. We were there for at least uh, a half an hour before we got to the basement. And he was at that point already trying, you know, he wanted to go home. So I spent another, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes down in the basement uh, just trying to do some quick hunting. So uh, that's why I didn't get a chance to shoot it. Uh, if I go back, I'll, I'll shoot it again uh, the next time I go. So, um, so here's what I picked up. First book, Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number 158, and uh, this is a cool cover. It's a minor key. Um, I just like it for the cover, but this is the um, first Cosmic Spidey. Yeah, Spidey goes Cosmic. There you go. That was four bucks. I thought that was a pretty cool, uh, pretty good buy. Um, next book, got some a holiday book. This is... Walt Disney's Comics and Stories, issue number 197, and uh, this is from 1957. I'll end up putting more information in, in the upcoming um, holiday uh, video, uh, what month it came out, if there's any um, you know artists uh, that's, that's to this book and whatnot. But this is a cool book. Um, it has, obviously, Donald Duck and Huey, Dewey, and Louie ice skating. Um, so this was a neat... Neat little fine. I think this was three dollars. It's in low grade, but uh, just a nice cover. Um, another spectacular Spider-Man book, and uh, I picked up a, you know, a few spectacular Spider-Man. This one is um, a neat villain of you know that I I, like, I enjoy. You know, this is a cover done by Sal Buscema, and um, this is Spectacular Spider-Man issue number one thirty-nine. This is the first appearance and cover appearance of Tombstone. Um, cool, you know, Spider-Man villain, a villain that has, you know, some significance against Spider-Man. He's been featured many times in the comics, so this was a, a nice little pickup. Picked it up for six bucks, so I thought that was a good, a good pickup. Um, going back to the holiday covers, this was an obscure one. I've never seen this, um, this book before. I don't typically see this series, you know, in the wild. Um, I always grew up watching this show on Nickelodeon. And let me know in the comments down below if you watch this show too. This is uh, Ren and Stimpy show. This is issue number 15. And as you can see, it's a Christmas cover. Um, you got uh, saying here, if you read only one demented holiday special, <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> So this was a cool, uh, I was really surprised. They And they actually had in this one vendor, he had probably 15 or 20 different issues of Ren and Stimpy, which I was really surprised. And uh, he also had, it was a one shot. It was um, Ren and Stimpy number one, powdered, powdered French Toast Man or something like that. It was one of the characters in the show if you watched it. I was really surprised. I, I had no idea they, had, they made a comic on, on uh, that character. Or this this series at all, so uh, that was really really uh, funny to you know just surprising to see. And they had a bunch of like those weird like Nickelodeon shows in comics that uh, they had there, so uh, that that was just pretty nostalgic for me. Um, we got a rather hot book um, <laughs> for funny reasons. 
And uh, this is Peter Parker the Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number 24. I found out that this book was hot this week, and uh, when I was doing some hunting, you know, I just, you know, saw this book in the same, same, um, same row as the other uh, Spectacular Spider-Man um, short box, and uh, picked this up for six bucks as well. This is the first appearance of the Hypno Hustler, which is, he's on there on the cover as well. Apparently, he's going to be the next villain in an upcoming Spider-Man movie um, uh, produced by uh, Donald Glover. So, <laughs> you know, uh, I, don't, I don't understand. But uh, I, I saw it there and I was like, all right, cool. You know, and I do like collecting the uh, Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man run. I do have a good amount of the keys in the run. Um, I didn't have that one, but uh, yeah, now I do. <laughs> And then, um, oh, I picked this up too. This was pretty funny. Um, like I said, it's an antique mall, so you never know what you're going to find. So I ended up picking this up for $3. This is the Naughty Stocking Stuffer. So uh, it says in the back, Dear, he checked his list. He checked it twice. It came up naughty instead of nice. Merry Christmas from... <laughs> So, it, and it's real coal, you know, it says it on there, genuine American coal. So, it's like, <laughs> this is a great stocking stuffer. So, uh, for three bucks, I had to pick that up, and I, I just thought that was hilarious. And then the last book, to finish it off, Alpha Flight, issue number 105, really cool Christmas cover. Um, couldn't pass this up. You got Weapon Omega as Santa Claus, and then you got North Star as you know himself right on the santa mobile and it's snowing so uh yeah i couldn't pass that up for three dollars as well so uh that's it hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh if you did hit the thumbs up um let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought if you've been to this antique mall i'm going to drop the information down in the description if you're local to the area definitely check it out there's always some good stuff there. They had some big keys there as well, as you saw in the video. So uh, until next time, Marks with the Comics, out.